Hello YouTube, I return this time with another video. As you can see, I'm in much better attire than I was for the last Afghan kit video, this time with proper equipment, according to Safar Publishing. Very good resource if you ever want to learn how to do basically anything Soviet. They talk to the guys that run that, you'll learn everything. So, starting from the top, Afghan cut cap, pretty simple, straightforward, good hat, get one that's a little bigger, or a little smaller, make it fit to your head, perfect. I've had one for two years, great thing. Move down, RD54, holds a decent amount of stuff, and I mean the Soviets would overpack the damn things like hell, you can see it on footage, guys are like rucking 80 pounds of stuff and most of it's stapled to the outside of the pack. Now, moving down, regular uniform, M88, pretty simple, hard to find nowadays for a decent price, roughly under 150 but, you know, you luck out occasionally. Now, down to the main piece of kit, this, the webbing, and the chest plate. This is a 6B2. These are incredibly hard to find, and there's only one that I found on eBay for sale, and it is a thousand dollars, coming from France. Very expensive. Now, onto the webbing. You have the mag pouch of the RD-54, along with the grenade pouch, and you have the Soviet Forsa. I got this from a Ukrainian who would disappear for most of the month. Not Alex. Alex is a good guy. He doesn't disappear. So, it holds four magazines and an extra pouch for hand grenade. So, the system it runs off of is pretty, f it's not flimsy, but it's a damn hard thing to get off in a hitch. As you can see, I'm having trouble with the grenade, but, now, moving on, you have the Pinnacle Soviet Afghan War Canteen, this plastic white thing, this, right here, comes off and acts as a cup. Now, moving on to this side, you have the VDV mess kit, counts as a actual mess kit and a canteen as well for extra water storage. Now, moving on to the back, you have the shovel along with its shovel thing. Just a regular Soviet shovel. Uh, don't type in World War II Soviet shovel on eBay, you're going to get fucking scammed because they're just going to sell you a repro for two billion dollars. Now, onto the boots. Spogoy boots, or uh, hobnail as they're called as well. Damn pain in the ass to walk on concrete with. Horrible. Wear very thick th thick socks. I've made the mistake of wearing thin ones. They're good for walking on stuff out there, but not good. Now, onto the inaccuracies of this kit. One, I'm using a officer uh, little webbing thing because the Y strap that I usually have does it's really small. It doesn't fit me anymore. Now, this. Uh, the main gun that I would probably use for this, its stock has come off because someone broke it while playing an airsoft game in my backyard. So I'm using my ENL with a orange fake Bakelite magazine. So these, this black furniture definitely would not have been used, but towards the later end, once the Soviets were probably leaving, you'd see some plum furniture in smaller numbers. Now, this kit not counting this, which is the big money maker, would probably cost you around, without the rifle, without a real one or an airsoft one, would probably cost you around $300 nowadays with the average market, because fuck you, prices are just going up. But if you want to get into it, check Facebook Marketplace, they help a lot, along with eBay. Just keep refreshing eBay, and like I always say, if always check Alex Catfish09's eBay page, premium stuff. Um, there is several different variations of this kit, but I'm just going off of what Safar Publishing has put out uh, based on an article that they did back in March to May, somewhere in that time frame of 2023. So, yeah. Basic Soviet, uh, I presume, mechanized infantry kit. Maybe BDB. I don't know. I'm not that great on it. I'm still trying to put everything together. So, God bless, ladies and gentlemen who watch, and have a good one. Bye.